Hello everyone, this is Stocky here and welcome back to the next episode of my uh, Solitary Craft Solar Apocalypse Challenge. That's the one. See, I knew what it was. Cut that tree down. Don't be slack. Um, what I'm going to do this episode is I'm going to make uh, the next machine, which is... How are you doing over there? Good? You're doing good? Still got plenty of power. Uh, yes, I'm going to make a compressor. And I need to make a compressor because what I want to create uh, is a rotary macerator. So like the advanced macerator. But that needs coils, an electric motor, an actual macerator, advanced machines, iron plates, all of the good stuff. Um, first of all though... That was silver, not tin. Okay, take two. Which one of you guys is tin? You are. So tin, silver. I think I need six bronze, so, for this. Uh, for those of you who are playing with Greg Tech, I'm not playing with Greg Tech, but for those of you who are, there is a new item called a mortar and pestle. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't part of, um, I guess, this mod, which would be regular industrial craft. Uh, basically, you make it with uh, a flint and a bowl, and what it does is it lets you grind up uh, like copper and iron and tin and those kind of things, and it lets you turn them into something really good. And the thing that it lets you turn them into is... I've got myself distracted, I'm sorry. Um, it lets you turn them into... Oh, my brain is just not working right now. Come on, brain. Ah, oh, dust. It lets you turn them into dust. So when you... Uh, when you with IC2 go to make bronze, which is IC2 bronze, you have to smelt bronze dust, which is a mixture of uh, one tin dust and three copper dust, and it gets you two bronze dust. Now that's double what you get uh, with regular Greg Tech, but the same recipe exists with Greg Tech, and normally you need to have a macerator before you can do it, or an alloy smelter. But I believe it works just fine um, doing it the other way, which is a good thing. So now I need an iron plate, because I know I'm going to need to make an electric circuit, so where's my iron? I'm going to take it in here and smoosh it up good. We want... We do want rolling, don't we? So we'll smoosh that up good and make our iron plate. And what is the recipe for a compressor? Uh, that's it there, compressor. Smooth stone, a basic machine casing, an electronic circuit. So I'm going to need eight more iron, I believe. And then we'll have the compressor, and then we will have what we need for the make the rotary macerator. And then after the rotary macerator, 4,070-odd. 4, 4, Keep going. Okay, gone too far. Here we go. So we've got the rotary macerator, then we've got the singularity compressor and the centrifuge extractor. So we want rotary macerator, we've already seen. Singularity compressor. Well, it requires three compressors. Obsidian reinforced glass. That's probably going to be a bit harder to make. What about the centrifuge extractor? Uh, you know, see, these, these things aren't too bad. You know, the recipes kind of make sense. And they're pretty reasonable, but fast. And fast is pretty much what we're going for. Really? Can't help but wonder if you know, that tree farm going nuts is, is slowing down the growth of my cacti. Either that, or I'm just not spending as much time playing it as I used to. basic machine casing and one more we need smooth stone now 
think it's only six I need. What was the thing in the middle though? Ah, machine casing, okay. So I need that. Two redstone. The standard electronic circuit process. And you can put that there and that there. Now hopefully this Gabbro works. How did I know it wasn't going to work? Oh, I've got four stone. What did I just get out? I got cactus green out. Cactus goes here. Um, you can all... Whatever you'll take. Okay. That's all that we need, so we're good to go now. One of you and one of you. Switch them around. Compressor. So my compressor is going to go just there. It's going to power itself up. And it is going to be used for the f next phase of my plan. Which is rotary macerator. So that's going to involve my normal macerator. We need iron plates, but we need an advanced machine casing. So it needs a basic machine casing with advanced alloys, which needs mixed metal ingots, which needs iron plates, bronze plates, and tin plates. So we're going to need we're going to need way more copper. I thought I had way more copper than that already. Block of aluminium. I mean, clearly I've got a lot of copper here. Got crushed copper ore, copper nuggets, tiny piles of copper dust. Is that tin ore berries? Yes. And copper ore berries. Um, smooth stone, maybe? It's got to go somewhere, doesn't it? There, okay. What a long process. I'm going to drain away all my battery power now doing this, I'm just sure of it. But we've got... Doop. We're getting there. Come on, give me something out. I just need one tiny pile of copper dust. There we go, look at that. We now have copper. Actually, it seems like this ore washing plant is, is really the, the thing that slows me down in this whole process. This macerator, is, it's not fast, but it's kind of fast enough. Yeah, it's definitely fast enough for me. Um, I don't even know how much I needed. What I need? I need to make three bronze, which means... Shouldn't I have... I already had three bronze. Okay, so I need three bronze. Uh, three iron. Wow, I'm running out of that too. And three tin. Let's go for mixed. And it's all of the plates. So three bronze plates. It's a shaped crafting, aren't it? What a 
Doesn't even look like I need a compressor anymore. What in the heck do I use a compressor for then? What do you do? Oh, I need to compress the mixed metal ingots, of course. Brain is just not functioning at the moment. Brain is just not functioning correctly. Definitely working our way through the power here. Tiny pile of copper dust again. And cook that up, but I can't. Okay, got three of them. Now I need three tin. I like the fact that it adds the extra step in of having to squish things before you just make ingots in. That, you know, it makes more sense to my mind. Yeah, this is going to take as long as it takes, and who cares really how long it takes. How are we doing over here? Need I ask? You are doing crazy. Filling back up with wood again. Not a lot of apples, though. How are we doing down here for saplings? Look at that, a good collection of them. Um, yeah, I don't even bother. Don't even need to bother with this end. Let's go one, two. Let's say five charcoal in. Come back for that in a minute. Okay. Tin plates. So we need tin plates, bronze plates iron plates, giving me my mixed metal ingots, which I then compress. So let's try something a little different. How do you make bitumous peat? Propolis, ash, and peat. Two megajoule for six thousand ticks. One megajoule for five thousand ticks. Actually, I didn't even think to check how much I had. Getting quite a good collection of stuff in there. What's five thousand ticks? I wish Minecraft needs a calculator. Okay, so we have two of those now. Now we need. Um, Okay, for advanced machine casing, we now need carbon plates, which needs raw carbon mesh, which needs raw carbon fiber, which needs coal dust. Macerate coal. It's got to be coal though, not charcoal. Grind this coal block up. Shoop. There we go. One more. Like I said, we you know we are definitely uh, with our power on the way down. Whoops. Okay, we're certainly getting there. Make it. So now we need an, a basic machine casing with which to put that around. Which needs more iron than I have. Crushed iron ore. Tiny pile of iron dust. Got plenty of crushed iron ore. So time to get you out of there and throw you in. Um, 
I need eight iron. How much did I have? I only have four iron. I need eight. Guess we're building some copper up. I kind of should have thought about this off camera. Certainly wouldn't have hurt to do so. So that's going to be five. Come on. You know you want to. How many tiny piles of iron dust do I have? Five. Gets me that little bit closer. Throw that in. Throw that in. So we've got six, so it's going to make seven. I need one more. Let's throw them in the smoosher machine. Come on. It could be that this is going to take too long. I'm just going to let that go and see how long it takes. Um, wasn't there a thing called, there you go, power box. Diamond redstone chipset. A diamond and a redstone assembly table. I think this power box I'm going to make next. Because then with the power box, I can connect up another one of these, bucket some of this fluid into a tank. Yeah, that's a good idea, I think. And then I can start using that to produce megajoules, which will then produce EU power. It's not that I'm, you know, changing my mind. I still am going to build the advanced macerator. I just think that for how long this is going to take, I'm going to run out of power. You can see I'm almost out there already. But you can turn it back into ingots, which is cool. I guess if you make one more than you want. But anyway, here we go. This is now step one complete. Um, a advanced machine. No, it's not called an advanced machine. It's called a uh, rotary. So I need four more iron plates. See, told you I was going to need more iron. Um, getting there. Like I said, everything is happening in slow time. We are totally getting. Oh no. <laughs> that is not that good. Come on, little guys. I think I took out my generator too, didn't I? Yep, I took my forestry generator elsewhere. This isn't going to last. This is a woefully inefficient way of doing it. But this guy is going to keep pumping all his power straight into it. And at least it's going to help me. Okay, four iron plates. 
That'll slowly top itself up now. Um, yes, we want rotary macerator. <sighs> Duh, yep, this is going to have to wait till another day. I have totally underestimated how much effort is involved in making this thing. Like orders of magnitude, I underestimated it. Also underestimated by orders of magnitude, I think how much power was going to be required for this. This thing is just it, ridiculous. But like I said, I'm going to change my game plan a little bit over here. Now I can work out a way to get it in here if I need to. It actually slowly drains its power down over time too, which kind of stinks. So once that fills that up... Um, power box, power box, power box, power box. This one just here. Um, HV transformer, advanced battery, electronic circuit, insulated gold cable. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, everything is just going to take so long. Um, yeah. Next episode. I am going to set myself up to make that power box. This is going to go. Yeah, I'm going to. Off camera, I'm going to make a lot of biomass and turn it into this and then bring that forest regenerator back. I wonder if I can just put it up the top, that'll make it a bit easier to get to. Um, just put that there. Let's try it right now and see how it goes. Two buckets of this bad boy. Probably the only issue with putting the forest regenerator there. I now can't. I now can't see that block. Hmm. Okay, that's rapidly going up. So that's a good thing. I know I'm going to need heaps more iron for all these different things I'm going to do. So let's get this iron now. And while we're making heaps of power, let's use it. Still going rapidly up. Yeah, like I said, um, 
I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, next episode, I hope uh, to get that rotary macerator done. But then again, I'll probably go for the power box first to make sure I have plenty of power, then the rotary macerator. Anyway, whatever happens, I'll see you guys soon. A stocky out.